Hey gang, Bronco Carl 92 here. So it's Monday, September 16th, and I got good news. The governor's in town. Okay, so uh, what governor's in town? Nah, not Chris Christie. Uh, the governor for my Dodge finally, after a long, exhaustive search, begging, pleading, um, turning over stones, um, I finally found a governor. Um, interesting story. I had uh, mentioned to uh, y'all in the, um, another video um, that uh, I found actually a complete overdrive housing because I wasn't coming up with a governor. Well. Uh, a couple weeks ago when I was in Orlando, um, when I got to the airport, um, I got a phone call from... Son of a bitch. Anyhow, sorry about that. Um, I just had another one of my giant bees fly in here that I had to take care of. So anyway, uh, I was saying I was on, uh, I was on security line at uh, the airport when I was in Orlando a couple weeks ago, and I got a phone call from the uh, drivetrain place that uh, was going to rebuild an overdrive housing for me. And he told me that uh, there was going to be a little bit of a delay because the housing that he had uh, needed a governor or the governor was beat or something was, uh, something was up with it. So he was going to have to find one. So I gave him a week and uh, he didn't really call me back. So I called him and he says, now nah, he's still looking. Um, he's trying to find the cheapest one. And, you know, I was like, guy, you know, I, I need my overdrive. So um, I had some buddies up in Canada looking, um, and my one buddy up there, Bob, found a website, um, I guess down here, that uh, some guys were talking about it, and then there was a link to a place called uh, Whatever It Takes, and uh, so I clicked on that link, and um, they listed governors um, in, the, uh, in their parts listing. So I called the guy up and said, hey, look, you know, do you guys really have these in stock? And he said, actually, no, we don't. Um, but he directed me to a place called Bishop's in Dallas. And I called them up. And he called me back. And he said, yep, I got them. So uh, he packed one up. And for $33.85, I got one here. So let me show it to you. All right, so anyway... So here it is, the famous governor assembly. So uh, what's unique about this, I guess, compared to um, the governor that I have, is this weight here, as you can see, it's made of brass, and it's actually quite heavy. Um, the brass weight will actually spin out faster um, or quicker at lower RPM to uh, signal the uh, valve body to make its, uh, its uh, transmission shift. So. Yeah, that's that. So, I think that was a pretty nice deal for 25 bucks. It doesn't look uh, too terribly worn. Um, I don't see any scoring on it. Everything seems to be nice and tight on it. So, anyhow. So, um, what we got to do to install that is I got to pull the, uh, the drive shafts, the transfer case, and uh, the overdrive housing. So, I'm going to get cracking on that, and uh, I think I'll save you guys the, uh, the agony if you watch me pull a transfer case, because that's not really a big deal. Uh, once I get the overdriving house out, once I get the overdrive housing out and on the bench, um, I'll, uh, I'll show you what I got going on, okay? Back in a bit. All right, so here's our overdrive housing. Um, it took me about an hour to take uh, all the, uh, the bits out to get to this, so um, let me uh, get it stripped down, and I'll get you set up. Okay, so basically to get this apart, you just remove this clutch pack assembly and then there's a little cover over here. You take that off and you spread the spring and this just slides out. So here's our, here's our original governor with the small steel weight and my new governor is right here. So all we got to do get the snap ring off the end here, slide this baby off, slide the other one on. So let me get a pair of pliers and I'll, uh, I'll get that off.
I'll tell you, this sure beats. Oops, this sure beats buying uh, that whole rebuilt overdrive assembly. When I rebuilt this transmission like two years ago, I never really saw anything wrong with the with the planetary set. So, you know, maybe uh, maybe the little bit of gear noise that it has is normal. I don't know. I can't really hear it with the with the diesel now. So. That slides off real easy. Alright. Let me get some more weight this up. Put you guys back on in a sec. Alright, so I got our governor swapped out. I changed the seals. And uh, now we're going to lay the case back on. So just pick it up. I have it sitting on a, uh, a large socket. So there's a snap ring in here that you gotta spread. back in place. First bearing. Actually, maybe we can stand this up this way now. And put it back together. So we got a couple snap rings to put in. plate and then our frictions and steels and it's kind of neat I rebuilt the strands like I said two years ago and these overdrive plates look like they don't have anything wrong with them
that's it. So I just got to put the little cover plate on here and then uh, I'll stuff this back in the truck. And I'll put you guys back on. All right, so I figured I'd show you a little progress. I've got the uh, the housing back in place. Shifters bolted back in, cross member uh, or the mount, I guess right there is, uh, is in. So all I have to do is throw the transfer case in and uh, the two drive shafts. And we can take her for a ride. Back in a bit. All right, so uh, I got the truck done. I just took it for a ride and now it shifts the way it's supposed to so uh, hopefully we'll get a driving video up soon and uh, as always thanks for watching and uh, have a good one take care guys